They are the voice of those who can't use their own. Over a hundred hostages still unaccounted for as the war wages into its eighth month. Enough is enough that we need the hostages home. That's all we want is the hostages back home to be peaceful and for everybody to be able to live in peace, but predominantly for them to bring our hostages home. What would you call on the Israeli Prime Minister to do right now? What should the next couple of weeks look like? It's too complicated. It's, it, 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 there is almost no straight answer. And that is the problem. The priority for people here is clear. Far less so is how priorities become reality. People here are united in their message. They want hostages released and returned home. But it's the path to getting there that's causing division. What does getting there look like? I mean, is that an end to the war? Is it eradicating Hamas? We want the hostages back home. That is what we are here for today. Listen to the crowd, bring them home. We want the world to recognise that this needs to be an important part of the equation. President Biden did recognise that as he unveiled fresh Israeli proposals to end the conflict. Hostages held by Hamas released in exchange for Palestinian prisoners, bringing hope for those that need it. It's something that no family has to go through. It's really, really devastating. Like Osna and Menachem, whose nephew Omar was kidnapped on October the 7th. It's the most generous proposal uh, um, our government and uh, Biden was proposing to the Hamas because at the end of the day, we would like to get the hostages back home and they would like the ceasefire. You can't get a ceasefire without the hostages. In New York today, like in London, they marched with a message for the hostages. But all the while, Israel's offensive in Gaza continues. Tens of thousands of people have lost their lives. Plans, proposals and protests, all so incredibly familiar, and yet still so many unknowns. Molly Malone, Sky News in central London.